including forests of the Baltic, home to the old gods, now home to war. The ruthless knights of the Teutonic Order, who came to deal with pagan Lithuania at Poland's request, now carve a bloody swathe across the land. The Lithuanian pagans fight with grim determination, yet the path of the Holy Cross may be inevitable. Surrounding this bloody conflict, sleeping giants begin to stir. Novgorod, a powerful republic, jealously guarding its freedom and trade. The mighty Danes, renowned as seafarers and warriors, willing to back their ambitions with brute force. And of course, Poland, a proud kingdom, once allied to the Teutonic Knights, now battered and regretful, must face the demons it unleashed. Ambition. Greed. Faith. Total war. Use this scroll to construct buildings, recruit troops, and govern your settlement. More detailed statistics and trade details can be viewed by clicking the Show Settlement Details button at the bottom of the scroll. Click the Show Me How button to learn how to use the settlement scroll. Left click on a building to add it to the construction queue, and again to remove it. Drag and drop buildings to change their position in the queue. Right click on a building to find out more about it. You can only manage the construction of your settlement if a governor is present. Click the Show Me How button to learn about construction. How may I serve? If you are unsure of what to build next, click my portrait on the bottom of this scroll for a construction suggestion. For a recruitment suggestion, click my portrait when the recruitment tab is selected. Review the state of your faction's finances here. You can increase your income by adjusting the tax rate in a settlement, opening up trade routes, or exploiting natural resources. Your current treasury is also permanently displayed under the End Turn button. Left click on a unit to add it to your recruitment queue. The number of units you can recruit each turn depends on the size of your settlement. Right click on a unit to learn more about it. Click the Show Me How button to learn about recruitment. An honor to serve, my lord. Right-click to move your army to any part of the highlighted area. Attack by right-clicking on the rival's army or settlement. Merge with a friendly army or board a fleet by moving onto it. Honor to serve, my lord. From time to time, you will receive special missions from the Pope, your Council of Nobles, Guilds, and other factions. You can review the details of your current missions here, including goals, time left, and associated rewards and penalties. Mm. 
This scroll gives you detailed information about a particular building. Use this information to choose which buildings to construct. You can also destroy a building to retrieve some of its construction cost by clicking the Destroy Building button on the bottom left of the scroll. There is currently no governor in this settlement. You will need to move in a general to recruit troops, construct buildings, and manage this settlement. In the absence of a general, your settlement is being auto-managed. This scroll shows you a breakdown of important factors affecting your settlement. Move the mouse cursor over each icon to find out more information. Your main aims are to maximize income and growth while keeping public order and religion as high as possible. The number on the top right of the unit cards shows how many of those units are available to recruit. The rate that units become available for hire depends on the buildings in your settlement. Troops are trained in different buildings at various rates and made available to recruit in your settlement. Ready to trade. This scroll shows a summary of important information about your faction and progress. You can automate construction, recruitment and taxation in all your settlements. Use the slider to decide the proportion of your treasury your governors will spend when auto-managing a settlement. This scroll gives you a summary of your generals and the troops under their command. Right-click on a general for more information about his retinue, character traits and army. An honor to serve, my lord. Your will shall be obeyed. Moving your priest into a province converts the population to your religion. Right-click anywhere in a province to start converting. This scroll gives you an at-a-glance summary of the management of your settlements. Their size, population, happiness and governor. Right-click on a settlement to bring up the settlement scroll. The icons under your settlement show the income, loyalty and growth of the settlement. Icons will also appear if the settlement is close to rioting, under siege or has the plague. Move your mouse over the icons for more information. Of course, my lord. How may I serve? On my way, God's servant. You have selected a target outside the green highlighted area. This means your character cannot reach his target this turn. Provided that an enemy does not block his path, your character will continue on his journey next turn. Ready to trade. Ready to trade. An honor to serve, my lord. We do not count you as enemy. I have not been sent here to speak. Orders, my lord. An honor to serve. Right-click to move your fleet to any part of the highlighted area. Move the fleet to a coastal square to disembark the passengers. Right-click on an enemy fleet to engage in naval combat. Yes, my lord. Done. As ordered.
This settlement is a castle. Your castles will be your unit production centers. Castles produce little income, but the population is easier to keep content than in cities. Castles and cities differ in the buildings you can construct and the units you can recruit. You will need a balance of castles and cities to ensure you can support your troops. You can also recruit agents to serve your kingdom here. You can only recruit a limited number of some agents, and you must improve your buildings to recruit more. Once trained, your agents can undertake special missions. This settlement is a city. Your cities are your major source of income from taxation and trade. You will need to ensure that your people stay happy for your city to function at its best. It is a new turn and season in your campaign. Your treasury has been updated, your armies and characters have rested, and your rivals have made their moves. It is now your turn to make your next moves to carry out your strategy. This scroll details your performance throughout the turn, including military actions, finances, and your empire's progress. You can review this and more information at any time on the overview panel. Click Show Me How to see how to access the Overview panel. This scroll enables you to view the state of diplomatic relations between each faction at a glance. Use this scroll to aid you in making and breaking alliances during your campaign. Let's leave each other be, yes? An honor to serve, my lord. Your will shall be obeyed. Fear you. Make camp here. An honor to serve, my lord. An honor to serve, an honor to serve, my lord. This scroll gives you important information and statistics about a particular unit. 
number of men, training and upkeep costs, experience, attack and defense values, and special abilities. Use this information to determine how to best build up your army. An honor to serve, my lord. Orders, my king. My lord. Joining forces. The strength of an army is shown on its banner. The more color on the banner, the more men are present. Any stars next to the army show the command rating of its general. An honor to serve, my lord. Orders, my king. Men, march. Combining troops. Yes, my lord. Orders, my king. Yes. Joining forces. An honor to serve, my lord. An order. An honor to serve, my lord. Honor and courage, soldiers. We march to war. Be ready to move in the morning, men. You can obtain better quality weapons and armor for your men by constructing a blacksmith's, armorer's, or foundry in this settlement. Once complete, these buildings provide superior equipment for all new units trained here. I bring Click one. on the items on the left to make an offer or demand. Your current agreements with this faction are displayed on the right. Consider the balance of the agreement at hand and accept or reject the offer by using the buttons at the bottom of the scroll. My people, noble lord. We shall not soon forget this. Another course of wisdom to share. Your time was most... Double-click on a settlement to construct buildings, recruit units, and manage the settlement. We thank you. Press the spacebar to toggle the movement speed of characters and armies on the campaign map. Use backspace to stop a character moving. If there is no permanent governor in the settlement, it's a good idea to queue the buildings that you want to construct when you have the opportunity. When a general moves into your settlement, you can select the buildings you want to build, and your construction orders will continue to be carried out even after the general has moved on.
If you move a general into a settlement, he becomes the governor. Generals with high piety... An honor to serve, my lord. Left click on the boxes that slide down the left of the screen to view important messages. Right click to dismiss them. Messages include financial reports, family announcements, missions and declarations of war. I will make them fear you. An honor to serve, my lord. If you want help using a scroll at any time, then click the question mark on the top right of the scroll. This scroll allows you to compare your faction with other competing factions on the map. Use the arrows and faction buttons under the graph to compare each faction's success in different areas. You can right-click on the Army, Town and Agent tabs on the bottom panel to access summaries of your armies, settlements and agents. This scroll shows you the buildings that are available for construction in cities and castles. You can see the existing buildings in your settlement and what can be constructed. Select a type of building on the right to see what can be constructed for each level of a city or castle. Right click on a building for a detailed description. This scroll shows the tradable goods in your settlement, as well as income from farming, mining and trade with other settlements. Using merchants and making trade agreements will increase your income from trade. Constructing farms and mines will also increase a settlement's income.
Your people's ways are blasphemous at best. An honor to serve, my lord. An honor to serve. When attacking a settlement, you must either have siege artillery in your army or construct siege equipment on the battlefield. Equipment that is unsuitable for use on a settlement's defenses is grayed out. The time taken to build is displayed beneath each item. Click the Show Me How button to learn how to build siege equipment. Confronting the enemy honorably, my lord. Yes, my king. Laying siege to the enemy. With strength and honor, men, we shall find victory! You can change the facing, width, and length of your units by using the mouse. Select the units you wish to change, then hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse to change their position, formation, and facing. When you release the right mouse button, they will carry out your orders.
you have pressed the group formation button for the first time. This brings up a set of standard formations for groups of units that can save you time and effort. Move your mouse over each formation button to see what it does. It is possible to set artillery ammunition alight to rain fire and death down upon the enemy. Flaming ammunition has reduced accuracy, but is more devastating when it lands and has a greater effect on morale. Left-click the Show Me How button to see how to do this. It is possible to set arrows alight to rain fire and death down upon the enemy. Flaming arrows have reduced accuracy, but are more devastating when they land and have a greater effect on morale. Left-click the Show Me How button to see how to do this. Chasing after cavalry archers and javelin men is generally fruitless and therefore only worth doing if you can drive them off the map or trap them against terrain. The best way to deal with them is to shoot back at them with your own missile troops. Keep your other infantry stationary so they can hide behind their shields. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Once your men are in combat, you can make them break off by double right-clicking on a point behind them. This can be a useful trick if your men are faster than the enemies. When using this tactic, however, it is inevitable that you will lose a few men. You have pressed the Cancel Order button for the first time. This cancels orders for the selected units and makes them stop where they are. You could just give them a new order, but using this button is quicker if you need them to stop immediately. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. By the grace of God. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight.
Standing under missile fire is never a good idea. But if you must, keep your troops in loose formation, stationary, and facing the missile fire. Left click on Show Me How to see how to change formation. Men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. flaming arrows against wavering enemy troops. You will kill fewer, as archers cannot fire flaming arrows as quickly, but fear of the flames may cause the enemy to turn and flee. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Lord, our men are in command of the city.
This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. When you capture a settlement, you have the option to occupy, sack, or exterminate. Occupying a settlement brings it under your rule peacefully, but the people might rebel against you. Sacking allows your troops to loot and pillage, which gives an order and cash bonus, but buildings are damaged and people are killed. Exterminating kills most of the population and reduces the level of the buildings, but brings the population under your control. A noble way to claim these lands! Victory! Hail to you, most noble ally. Hail and well met. We have something for you. We could not be happier with your decision. Thank you. You speak honorably. You thing. can click on my portrait to dismiss a piece of advice or replay the last piece of advice. The buttons next to my portrait allow you to change the advice settings, zoom to a location on the map, and show you how to do something. There are more advice options on the game option scroll. Farewell. You will need to recruit units to defend your position and expand your army. To recruit units, double-click on a settlement and select the Recruitment tab. Yes, my lord. Orders, my king.
An honor to serve. Yes, Lord. When moving around the map, it is important to be aware of enemy armies. Left-click an enemy army to view its zone of movement. Double-click the army to find out more details. When an enemy army is blocking your path, the terrain will be highlighted in red at the choke point. You must fight the enemy army to pass or find an alternative route. My lord. Yes. Maintaining a siege on a settlement will eventually starve out the enemy. However, in this time, the enemy might summon reinforcements. Battle with pride, Lord! Yes! This scroll shows the outcome of the battle and some basic statistics. You can view more detailed results of the battle by clicking the Show Battle Statistics button on the bottom right of the scroll. And besieging the settlement. The enemy lies defeated! We are victors! Strength, honor, and victory! This scroll shows you the known details of another faction's settlement, including the governor, buildings, and garrison. Some details might be missing in the case of neutral or enemy settlements, but a skillful spy can be used to uncover any missing information. My lord, orders my king. Men, march! We move on. It will be an honor This scroll shows you the known details of another faction's character. You will find this information useful if you want to acquire a foreign merchant, propose marriage to a princess, or assassinate an enemy character. Ready to trade. Ready to trade. An honor, Lord. Yes, I shall speak with their representative. Tomorrow's... It is important to balance the happiness of your population with the tax rate. Happy citizens are less likely to revolt, and your settlement will grow faster. However, you need money from tax to support your troops and expand your empire. Awaits. How may I serve? God serve. I look forward to fighting you. My lord. Yes. Orders, my king. Of course. This scroll shows you the known details of another faction's army or fleet. Any question marks indicate hidden details, which a skillful spy will be able to uncover. Knowing the composition of an enemy's army allows you to tailor your army to their weaknesses. Yes, Lord.
Face me in the open. It will be glorious. My lord. Orders, my king. Ma'am, march! Yes. Battle will resolve our differences. If it is a fight you wish, come closer. When you end your turn, your view moves to follow your rival's characters. You can choose to not follow these characters on the game options scroll. This will reduce the time between your turns. You can move your diplomat by right-clicking on any part of the highlighted area. Right-click on a character, army or settlement belonging to a rival faction to start the diplomatic process. Trustworthy foe, what lie? Never. Your proposal implies we are fools. You approach with something more reasonable now? I leave this for now. Our talks seem pointless. You will need to start capturing more settlements soon to ensure you have enough income to support your army. Any nearby rebel settlements are a good place to start. I look forward to fighting you. If it is a fight you wish, come closer. It will be an honor to defeat you, dear foe. 